This is a mistake that literally cost me tens of thousands of dollars. Stay tuned so you don't make the same mistake. That's right, I just recently discovered a mistake that I was making in my Amazon business that literally cost me tens of thousands of dollars. And I use a program called Restock Pro for managing my inventory. And I don't know if this is unique just to Restock Pro, but in any case, I wanna share this to let you know to watch out for it. So what I was doing is I'm creating my purchase orders and sending the orders over to my suppliers. When I get the product, I receive it in in Restock Pro, but often what happens is they'll be back ordered products. Um, so I don't receive everything, some things are going to come later. So what I would do is I would mark all the product that I received as received in Restock Pro and leave the purchase order there for when I received, leave it open for when I received the back stock product or back ordered product. What I didn't know is that by leaving that purchase order open, Restock Pro was seeing all of that inventory as still being on order. Even the items that I entered as having received, but because the purchase order wasn't closed, all of them were still showing as being on order. Um, and over the last uh, month here, for some strange reason, I've seen that my sales velocity was decreasing and I was actually starting to decrease the total dollar amount in sales that I was having for the month. And so I was scratching my head trying to figure this out and I went into restock Pro and I just happened to see a product that I know I was moving really well and was out of stock, which I thought was weird. So I pulled up the item in Restock Pro and it showed that I had like 45 of these on order, which I knew I didn't have them on order anymore. Dug into it deeper and I found that was the case. There was three purchase orders that were still open because of back ordered products and the software was seeing all of that as still being on order even though I was out of stock on Amazon. And long story short, after I went in there and closed all those purchase orders, I actually had over $10,000 in product that needed to be ordered that I was out of stock of on Amazon that I shouldn't have been out of stock on. So tens of thousands of dollars in sales lost because of this little issue that I wasn't aware of on my inventory system. So pay attention to little things like that. Pay attention to the details. Check your inventory system. Make sure this kind of thing isn't happening to you. It's a uh, painful lesson for me and I want to share it with you so it doesn't happen to you. And if you haven't already, please go ahead and click subscribe right here so that you can get more videos like this and I can help you sell more and hopefully avoid some of the issues that I run into. Other than that, have an awesome day and happy selling everybody. This is Todd Welch with The Entrepreneur Adventure signing off.